What does it mean to be happy? What does it mean? Obviously, I know what it means like, temporarily. Like, maybe a kid wanted a doll for Christmas, and they got the doll, and now they're happy. They enjoy it. Everything turned out the way they wanted. But what does it mean to be really happy, like, truly happy? Like, to be in a perpetual state of happiness. Like, you're happy. You wake up every day happy. You're doing what you want to do, and you wouldn't trade anything. Or maybe that's not a part of it. Maybe it's not that you wouldn't trade anything. Maybe there's a certain level of happiness where you're just content. It's not necessarily the best thing, but you're happy and you see no need to change it. I'm not sure how you get there, though. In my life, I guess I feel like I've been going through a rut. I, I'm not, like, miserable or anything. I'm fine. It's just, I don't know. I don't know that I'm really happy, you know? Um, why do I always do that? That's so stupid. But whatever. I, I feel like I'm going through a rut. Like, I'm not miserable or anything, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm going through the same paths again and again. And I get some temporary enjoyment out of it. But I'm, I'm not really getting anything real out of it. I'm not getting anything that makes me perpetually happy. And in a way, I think that's why people get midlife crisis. Or crises. Or crises. Whatever. They, they go through half their life and they, like, you know, all that they've been doing is getting little things that make them happy here and there. But then they realize, oh, wait. I, I, I'm not truly happy. And my life's halfway gone. Well, crap, what am I going to do about it? And then they start freaking out. And normally, you know, the stereotypical idea is like they buy a new sports car or a bunch of fancy clothes or whatever. But that, once again, is just the temporary stuff. Like, I buy a car that's really nice and fast and I'm driving through it and it's all good. It's all cool while I'm driving it. But then when I stop, it's not making me happy still. What does it mean to be really happy? This is a big issue and a lot of people claim to have answers, but... Honestly, like, it doesn't matter who you are, what you believe, what you think about anything, really. The way I see it, everybody, you know, loses interest or that passion in their heart. They lose it at some point. And I don't know if that's just a problem with humanity and the human experience. Like, there's no way to find something that makes you perpetually passionate. There's nothing that can really make you care. I don't know. I think that's part of the reason why the divorce rate is so high in America. Because people expect the marriage to be a good thing, but they don't realize it's supposed to truly be forever. Or they do, but they don't realize that all the happiness they've experienced in their life is just the temporary kind. It's the kind that it lasts for a while and then it goes away. And, you know, that's what they subliminally accept. And that's what they think will happen. That's what they expect subliminally. So then they cut it off. They get a divorce. I don't get it, though. How do you get there? It seems like no matter what you do, as you get older, life just sort of wears you down, and you get tired. And then you get, like, you know, old people who are in, like, a retirement home, who are, you know, they, they have nothing better to do with their lives than just sit in front of the TV and watch the news or something. I don't know. Like, nothing gives them passion. It, it, it just really bothers me, and I don't know how you go about finding that passion. I don't know. It's kind of crazy.